Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the minute, cause I eat my spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mega Geek Mixer here to give you guys another episode of Mega Throwback Mixer. And that's right, guys. Today we are reviewing a classic cartoon show, and that's none other than Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, I love that cartoon growing up. It was one of my favorites out there. And not only that, there was much about this that helped me grow up, as it were. Like, for instance, you cannot deny that as a kid, you guys didn't want to eat your vegetables and stuff. I'm sure there were some kids out there that did and some kids out there that didn't. So for some of y'all who did better than some of us who refuse, like me... I give my hats off to you for that. The only way I was able to finally get around to it was because of Popeye, at least when it came to spinach. And I'm pretty sure with other vegetables like greens, such as broccoli and stuff. So yes, thanks to Popeye, I was eating my vegetables, my green vegetables. And you can have, it's not, not strange how that works because funny how that is exactly what happened in some of the cartoons in this Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> Sorry guys, but if I ever say that, you're gonna hear him do, do his usual do do. But either way, nevertheless, guys, that's also what happens sometimes in some of the cartoon episodes. He would he would try to get his nephews and Sweet Pea to eat it. Now, for his nephews, even though he forced them to eat it, they still would not like spinach, no matter what the case. Sweet Pea, on the other hand, he. He actually started to eat his spinach, too, after Popeye told him the story and the fact that when he was little, he didn't like to eat his spinach. But then when he told the story and after he ate it, he was like, I ate me spinach every day since. <laughs> Oh, guys, this just shows that Popeye was like most of us. Not our spent, no green vegetables. We don't like it. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And then they tell us a story or we see Popeye and then BAM! There it is. I'm strong to the finish because I eat my spinach like Popeye the Sailor Man. But nevertheless, guys, know one thing for certain. Popeye didn't start off as a cartoon series. It started off as a comic strip. And if you and if you guys didn't know, some things in the comic strip they kept, while other things they didn't. By that, I'm talking about a certain character. And I'll get into him here in a minute still. Because I just wanted to talk a little history on the fact that Popeye started off as a comic strip and all that. And then moving his way up into the cartoons where I first discovered him. And just like Looney Tunes, it had no continuity. You would always see Popeye in one episode or another having already known some of the some of the main characters in there or like being in a specific role and stuff and some of the main characters that we know being in another role as if they first met Popeye for the first time in their lives. And yeah, that was okay because back in those days, continuity wasn't really a thing. It was just all about short episodes to show some funness about Popeye the Sailor Man and all that other stuff. Like example, Looney Tunes and stuff like that. But now having said all that though, we gotta also now talk because we've talked enough on Popeye and stuff. Now he's a Sailor Man, big and strong, but we gotta talk about what made this show and all this other stuff also famous about Popeye. One of them is being none other than the rivalry he has with his main antagonist of the of the cartoon series that being Bluto yeah that's right guys Bluto pretty much Popeye's arch enemy if not arch rival because sometimes they act like they're pals and whatnot but one thing that was always so great about this series was the rivalry between these two sometimes they'd be competing for a woman's affection that being olive oil or sometimes they're just trying to out 
outdo each other with how skilled they are physically and manly and stuff like that. And as I said, there would be so many different continuities where you would see Blue, Pluto and Popeye be at each other. They know each other or this is the first time they ever met and stuff. And no matter what, it would always be like that. <laughs> uh, and you, he would sometimes, if it came to all his affection, Popeye has a girl, but then Pluto's trying to steal her from him. And sometimes he may look like he succeeds briefly, but she sees him for what he is. And then, and then Popeye's there to save the day after he eats his spinach. Now, bear in mind, sometimes Popeye was able to outdo him even without eating his spinach. But when things would start to get into some tight situations, that worked into Bluto's fader because one of the things about Bluto is that he's a brood, he's conniving, and he is scheming. He resorts to dirty things. So it's understandable that what that would make Popeye going to be like, all right, time to eat the spinach and show him that even his dirty tricks aren't going to get past me. <laughs> oh, I loved it. And now I haven't said all that, though. We also got to go into olive oil. As I said, she was once sometimes someone that Popeye was trying to, or better yet, let me put it this way. Sometimes Popeye's girlfriend or sometimes in a competition to to show, to win her heart and stuff like that. But nevertheless, though, Olive still had her own character. Sure, she may have been the damsel in distress, but sometimes she would have episodes where she would eat spinach and she would show show these women who's boss and stuff. And yeah, the, one of the funniest things about Olive is that, yes, yeah, she's very tall and long, long, thin arms and legs, but those are both her strong strength and her weakness. Why? Because for one, she can always, with her legs or arms she's so thin and stuff, they can always get her in a spot where she's all tangled up and stuff. But there have been other times where they've used to her her strength and helping her go through obstacles or fighting through things. You see, Olive Oil, she always showed that she, even though a damsel in stress, she can handle herself to, to a certain spot and stuff. But nevertheless, there's also one more character we must talk about, and that's the guy who in the comic strips it was more smarter than he looks, and that's Wimpy. Wimpy is basically Popeye's friend, and he's basically a glutton, and he just loves to eat. Favorite Boot, food hamburgers <laughs> as a matter of fact though when i say he, in the comic show he's more conniving in the show he's presented as a more doofus thing no doesn't really do anything to help anybody but that's not to say he still has some of his conniving ways in the comics but not to the degree in the comic strips like in the comic like in the TV series and in the comics, he's always saying about, get, hey, me a hamburger or something like that, and I'll pay you Tuesday. And the thing is, he never pays people back when he's scheming them and stuff. He's always saying he'll pay them back, but he never does. And yet somehow he's always managing to get away with it. Oh, my God. I don't know how Popeye can still be friends with him. He sometimes tries to reform him, but it doesn't work. But, hey, this was this cartoon stuff back in those days. It's like... Like people who would do some devious things could just get away with it back then. But nevertheless, guys, this was Popeye and everything. And for those of you who have never seen it or may have heard of it but never got around to seeing it, I recommend finding finding a, a streaming service that has it. Like HBO Max has some of the episodes, so go check it out there. But nevertheless, it is one of my favorite cartoon shows growing up. And even now to this day when I revisit it, it is something that stays near and dear to my heart heart but you know what guys i think i've gone on long enough about this and if we're gonna go out let's go out in style but before that let me just say if you enjoy my videos well just know that mega throwback mixer will continue tomorrow and i've decided i'll be going into the movie of popeye the 1980 movie so i hope you're there to watch it but now having said that if you enjoy my videos all you gotta do is click that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon if you notified when I make more videos and with that being said if we're gonna end this video let's end it with style take it away boys Be strong, don't